Okay, Chase, this is a uh, tutorial on how to uh, stake uh, a sturgeon. Uh, tools you'll need are the sturgeon, of course, a sharp fillet knife, a saw, bucket for the insides if you're giving them away, and a bucket for the stakes. All right, let's get started. Here we go. Okay, firstly, I want to take the tail off here. Uh, keep your tag. If you can, without doing any damage. Also, go slow and careful because you can cut yourself so easily on this. All right, I'm going to cut that. Next, I'm going to take the next cut behind the head. So, you're going to want to come right in here. It's pretty hard, so find a spot right behind the last plate. And then just hold him. And just trim it up right there, like just like that. <clears throat> Well, almost just like that. Shouldn't be too hard. Again, if you're saving all the goodies, make sure you have a nice cold place to put them. All right, you're going to slide up here. Here's, here's the butthole. You're going to slide up here and just run it inside. Just like that. All the way there. Opens up. Pretty straightforward. Again. Take your time. Don't get too too wild with a sharp knife. I can say that from experience. All right. Now then, again, you're going to want to try to clean this out. Nice and slow, easy. A sharp knife is critical here. All right. I'm hoping you're getting this on the video. Take your time. Pull on it. There's that. Okay. Now then. Now then what I try to do on this part is cut on both sides of this. We're going to get this blood vein out of here. So, do that. And just kind of slice and dice here. Not your fingers, of course. it out. You can also clean this up a little bit once you once you stake it too. I'll try to get some of it done now. Less cleaning in the end. Alright, keep your hands clean. Yeah, and this should come out fairly easily as long as you got a good sharp knife. Just trimming it. Just trimming it. I think that'll work for me right there. Come on, baby. Struggling here a little bit. Okay, now comes the fun part. Again, gotta keep your tools sharp and clean. There's that. Okay. Now 
haven't, the best case for me has always been to take these fins off first, or you know, in the process here so they aren't in your way. Roll it, take this one off, same thing. Take the bottom off. So, and trim the top one, like, oh, that's not perfect, ah. okay, trim the back, just like this, sharp knife, watch your fingers, just because these babies do get slimy. That's all good. Now that again, like I said, you want to try to visualize what you're going to have for steaks on the smoker. So let's start off basically like that. Have your bucket right here. Try to make them consistent because if you're smoking, you want to make sure that they're all pretty much the same size. And just again. Sharp knife is essential because there's really no bones to stop you. It's just cutting it squared up. <clears throat> My little man here is really fighting me. Don't get, don't get too wild. Take your time. Consistent, same size, best you can. Easy does it, good sharp knife. You don't have to worry about any of the scallions or the little tough scales on top as long as you're just taking your time and going right along with it. Another one. Again, slippery, so be careful. I, mean, I don't want to cut myself while I'm sh doing this video, so I'm taking a little more time than I normally do, which is probably always a good thing. Okay, another one. Right between the, the scales there, the hard pack. It's pretty simple, really. Good. Flip it. Again, you'll need to clean this out, uh, the bloodline, when you're doing the final preparations. You're doing the final cleaning before you put it in the brine. But, as you see, it doesn't take a lot of time, and it doesn't take a lot of effort. Uh, I hope you get one next week, and I hope this was... Hopeful.